Fellow graduates, faculty, family, and friends, I have the honor of giving the salutatory address this afternoon. Thank you all for coming. I've heard a good salutatorian should be short. At five foot two, I couldn't do it any other way. I struggled to find just what I wanted to say today. I tried witty sarcasm, sappy life quotes, short and sweet. I searched for inspiration from Google, YouTube, and Bing. After many attempts, this is the message I have for you. What came of my internet search for inspiration was the realization that life is a lot like Bing's advertisement for search overload syndrome. For those of you who haven't seen the commercials, basically this just means that when you use a search engine on a computer, that you get a lot of results that aren't helpful or accurate. We, as people, are all searching in life and getting excessive, unrelated results. Whether it be for the solution to a sticky relationship, the right profession, or a quick way to ingest all of the information that we should have studied the night before. There are so many influences on how to dress, speak, and behave. Searching for who you want to be can be the hardest thing to do, but the most important. It is the knowledge of which links to click on, so to speak. Sometimes the link will be, fish be beneficial, and other times it will lead to a virus. Each is a lesson. Many times we choose links that are well-liked, or voted best by users because they are easy to find. This, this next passage from Jeff Disco warns what happens when your decisions are the result of going with the flow. We learn to do what everyone else does because me and I are singular, whereas they and we is plural. We learn to hold our tongue, especially when we should be yelling the loudest. We learn to do what's always been done without asking why. We learn that the golden rule is he who has the gold makes the rules, so why should we try to change them? We learn to be good employees, to run when we should fight, and to fight when we should talk. And most important of all, we learn to fear. Many of the well-intentioned blessings we've received have taught us to be afraid. To be afraid of ourselves, of our bodies, and of our fears. To be afraid of being shunned, of being wrong, of being told that we are wrong. We learn to be afraid of doing the right thing and taking responsibility for it which is oftentimes more difficult than taking responsibility for doing wrong, end quote. Way better than some sentimental savvy quote, right? Maybe, maybe it's time to change. Right now, your biggest search is probably your future. Truth be told, I don't have the right to give you advice. Again, I could give you some savvy quote, but in the end, the search results that are appearing on your screen are your own, and only you can make those decisions. You are not who others make you, but who you choose to be. I just wish you the best with the difficult task of figuring out just what you are supposed to do with your life. Instead, let's focus on the here and now. This is the last moment in which our lives will converge at a single place. The last moment we stand together as a class. While some of you will shed tears and some of, will, some of you will walk out rejoicing the lifting of shackles, take a last look at your fellow classmates in the back. Pause for dramatic effect. <laughs> <laughs> the most important part of the speech today is the thank yous. We owe so much to so many people. Most of all, our guiding lights. Thank you, God, parents, relatives, faculty, friends, coaches, and other inspirations in our lives for everything that you've done. For all your efforts repeated each day to help us be the best we can be. This is your moment to see the fruits of your labor as they prepare to go out into the real world. And also a big thank you in advance to the choir and band for gracing us with their lovely time. So I couldn't go the entire speech without one sappy quote. I'd like to close with a quote from James Dean. Dream as if you'll live forever, live as if you'll die today. Thank you. Congratulations class of 2010.